get another one. So yeah, this game uh, that you're watching uh, was pretty different because me and my buddies, we, you know, we were playing some public matches and then we stumbled across this lobby full of uh, one big clan, I think. And they said something about riot shields. And well, what do you think happened then? Oh. Um, well, uh, this game was pretty damn... Uh, it was so, so different, like... <laughs> uh, it really showed uh, the downsides um, of this game. And, you know, when you get a whole team with full of Riot Shield uh, people, uh, there's really um, not much to do against them. I guess you can try to shoot them, but then once they get close enough, they'll just knife you. So... I guess we sorted out to some uh, cheap tactics and well, uh, I guess I'll dedicate this video to everything that stinks in this game. And I actually made a list, uh, let me see if I can find my list, I just gotta, two seconds, I gotta find my list. Okay, so I found it and well, let's get to it. There's a lot of this, there's a lot of stuff on this list and well. To begin with, I can tell you that the spawn system in Modern Warfare 2 is broken. It is so bad that, <coughs> well, uh, it's uh, it's ridiculous. That's all I have to say. Uh, next up, uh, in PS3 you get like join session, uh, which should not be in the game. That's really, really not necessary, and it's really annoying, and it just bugs the hell out of everyone. So. You gotta take out uh, join session, and also just simply joining a game that has always that has already begun <laughs> is so annoying. Like, I hate when I click to play a search and destroy game or something like that, and then I look at the score. I join a I join a random game, and I look at the score, and it's like one to my team and four to the other team. <laughs> it's like ridiculous. I hate that. And then oh, look at that nice multi kill, and then um. Well, this is more of a suggestion, I guess. Uh, I think every mode should have a hardcore and, you know, like, uh, no respawn mode or classic mode, so to say. Uh, that would be cool. Back to what sucks, uh, tactical insertion. Uh, it really doesn't work out as, uh, as intended, I think. Um, the idea was uh, okay, it was cool, but... In reality, it doesn't really work out, and people just use tactical insertion to boost the heck out of everything. So that didn't work out. Let's take that away. Uh, next thing, some perks that I don't like. Uh, first off, commando. <laughs> I really hate commando. Uh, there's uh, really not much else to say about it. It just is overpowered and ridiculous. The knifing, launching stuff is ridiculous. If you've seen some videos on YouTube, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, or if you even play this game, you know what I'm talking about. It's fucking ridiculous. And then, um, even without Commando, the launching in this game is ridiculous. And it's so easy to knife. You can go around and knife everyone. It's freaking easy. And, well, it's unbalanced, in my opinion. Uh, unrealistic, even though it's a video game, blah, blah, blah. But... It's, it's annoying when people can kill you that easily by just uh, having a combination of lightweight marathon and then this crazy commando perk. So, that kind of sucks. Uh, next off, NoobTube. Yeah, now you can see me using this almighty NoobTube class, one on army, danger close, all oh, set up, <laughs> which, um, <laughs> which is just <laughs> ridiculous. Um, so my, my, um, Opinions on NoobTube. Well, first off, scavengers should not pick up NoobTube ammo. Second, uh, NoobTube shouldn't be in the game. That would be even better. Uh, the danger close, danger close perk. Uh, it's it's annoying, but I guess it's fine as long as they don't, as long as there aren't that many NoobTubes flying around. Um, Okay, and then changing classes with woman army should take <laughs> a lot longer than three seconds. It should take more like ten and above seconds, in my opinion. And well, 
I guess that's uh, the stuff I have to say about NoobTube. And then, um, <laughs> they got a patched gun that doesn't benefit from silencers. There's a couple of guns that, even with a silencer, they still show up on the radar. And I mean, it's <laughs> it just goes to show that this game wasn't tested enough. I r <laughs> really, that's all it proves. Uh, so, they gotta fix that. Uh, that's just too bad. And then... Uh, there's been a lot of complaints about the shotguns in this, in this game, um, or basically the models, <laughs> at least in the very beginning. Uh, people said that the models were overpowered, and I completely agree, they were overpowered and they got patched. Uh, but I still think that a lot of the shotguns are pretty much overpowered, like this past 12. It's ridiculous. And, well... Essentially, every gun in this game is pretty damn powerful, and, you know, if you're seen out in the open, then it takes two bullets and you're down. Almost with every gun. It's pre pretty damn ridiculous, you know. Seenhunter's got a nuke with uh, the Rafika, which is the sidearm, and I don't I don't know if, you know, it's one burst kill. I don't know if, it, if it's, um, <laughs> if it's that well made, you know. It's kind of... I don't know. It's too powerful. Um, and then... What more do I have on my list? Well... Um, I guess have dedicated servers. <laughs> There's so much lag happening around and lag is just... Uh, annoying. And then... Um, last stand, final stand. <laughs> really, really damn... Uh, stupid and everyone who uses that perk really doesn't know what they're doing because it won't help you out the only thing last stand does is annoy the person who tried to kill you or who killed you uh, depending on if you killed them or not so that's <laughs> basically it it's a really noob perk just like commando and one man army in danger close and then uh, Martyr Doom, of course, is annoying, but I don't mind it in this game. In this game, it's fine because it's a death streak and it doesn't occur that often. But Painkiller, on the other hand, <laughs> is ridiculous and it's just. That's just. Oh, I hate Painkiller. So, yeah. And then, you know, there's a a couple of pointless perks in this game too, like Scavenger, why would you, no I mean, not Scavenger, Scavenger is great, but uh, Scrambler, why would you use Scrambler, I ask, well, they say you can run past the Claymore easily, or more easier than without it, but um, to be fair, I mean, anyone with Marathon can basically run past the claymore and even if they have lightweight it's even easier and it's easy to get past the claymore without uh, scrambler pro so I really don't see why why anyone anyone would use scrambler it's just uh, a waste of a perk and you let every no everyone know where you are so it's really bad and well if they had made it so that the only way to get past a claymore uh, was to use Scrambler, then, well, that would be ridiculous too, because then the Claymore would be overpowered, right? So, I guess, um, I guess it's hard to balance a game, but this game has so much bullshit in it, so... Uh, there's uh, a lot of stuff here that they could have easily changed, or taken out, or uh, improved on. I mean, they added, in my opinion, they added they added way too much uh, from COD 4 and I mean they took out uh, Juggernaut, Juggernaut thing which is nice but still uh, they added way too much in this game and well now it's just uh, look at this game it's just crazy um, well I guess that's about it um, that's all I have to say about this game uh, on the downsides of it, uh, but it's still a good game and I still play it a lot, so I guess um, I'll just uh, live with it.